Hello there, it's me, Agil Forson, back again. Last video I spoke about was peasants' weapons. Well, it was put to me, what happens if you've got a little bit more coin and, well, you're not, you're still a peasant, but you're better off. Well, let's look at some examples. Last time we spoke about clubs and things. Now, around the farm, an ads. Well, I think this is more like a hoe, actually. Either way, a whack around the head with this will uh, ruin your day. More common was this. This is a hedge trimmer, actually introduced by the Romans of all people. And you can either take the handle off and it's a big knife, or more likely swing it around, figure of eights. Either way, you wouldn't want to come into contact with that. Then, of course, we have what every farm would have, the axe. Different sizes, different, I mean, this is a, a, a fair representation of a bearded axe, but an ordinary domestic axe will do the job just as well. And it gives you that sense of protection that other weapons may not. Most farms, in fact, all farms, would have an axe. Very useful. Then, of course, as Freeman, you'd have the knife. I'm reliably informed there's very few references to it being called uh, a scrammer sax. There's different types. But this, this is quite large for the time. Uh, it's more like a war weapon. And I think it's probably fairer to say the smaller weapon, smaller knives would be used. Or maybe you're very lucky and you've got this. It's more like a machete, again another type of sax or knife, very much like a sword, a lot less um, expense to make and maybe you'd be given this by your lord for uh, past uh, services. Um, it's not what a high class warrior would have but I'm sure we'll cover that at a later date. But this is more realistic for the sort of uh, everyday person. In fact, even more so is this. Even with this, I wouldn't like to have to face anybody. Or this, which is a very thin piece of steel. Uh, could be used in the kitchen, could be used around the farm. Hey, if it kills cattle and slaughters animals, it'll kill people. You watch that, it's sharp. Yeah, it is sharp. Bruggy's just reminded me and I just found out. Um, but yes, even that uh, doesn't have to be graces, doesn't have to have inlays, as long as it does the job. And the job is kill the enemy. So that basically covers your well-to-do peasantry. And uh, if you have any questions about it or you have something you wish to add to it, please let us know. Leave us a comment. We will get back to you. Bragi has a lot of work on, but he will get back to you. And if you want to leave a subscription, remember to press the old subscription bell there in the corner. And, and then you can follow us and uh, hopefully enter into dialogue with us. We do appreciate your comments. Let's not forget, it's you, the people out there, that actually form our content. We present what you would like to hear, what you would like to see. And if we get something wrong, please tell us. We'd like to know. So until the next time, I hope the weather's fine for you. You take care. And it's from me, Egil, and from Bragi. Fahil.